To Vegas? Are you out of your mind? A million dollar walk to Vegas? I got a photographic memory. IQ 175. Hey, neighbor! Screw you! You know, I was a poker on the TV. I learned. Basically, I'm a pro level. I hate that Tarantino wannabe. He's a creep. I know he's creepy. But the creep's good for the game. Hi, I'm Michael Fairman, and I am here with Eileen Davidson and Vincent Van Patten to talk about their upcoming movie, Seven Days to Vegas. And I don't think there's anything more appropriate than us sitting around Vincent and Eileen's poker table in their home to do this interview. So, Vincent, this is kind of a labor of love story for you. I mean, you co-wrote this. Right, right. And this is there's a lot of you in this role, sort of. That's true. That's say. true. Yes. So you play Duke, and he is a out of work '90s film star actor type. Who? Yeah. yeah tell yeah. me a little bit about how the story is. Okay, it's based on uh, some truths in my life. It's about this Hollywood poker game that I had in the '90s that grew from the San Fernando Valley to a very small game to one of the biggest games in the world in Beverly Hills, underground game, and these poker playing buddies of mine that were pretty insane and fun. And the greatest thing about it was that it wasn't about the poker, it was about the bets that we made, the side bets that we made, and then we make a crazy bet that I can't walk to Las Vegas, to, from LA to Las Vegas in seven days. That's what the concept is. And then they all go bet against me and see if I can do it. Interesting. And Eileen, you play the wife, Casey, Casey. the wife. Mm -hmm. So what was it like playing the wife of your real-life husband in the movie? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> it was fun. It was, it, was, it was not without its challenges because oh. technically I was kind of working for him because he was the one who wrote it, <laughs> and he liked to flex his little writer muscle. And, um, yeah, so... It was, so were there changes? Were you getting changes on the... <laughs> <laughs> no, but he was, if I did change a line even slightly... There would be... You have to say it the way it's written. I'm like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. First but, of all, yeah, well, you got to say something about Eileen. She's a great, great actress, and of course she's going to play my wife in it. And she has... Um, his good thing is that she has no ego whatsoever. She Aww, goes, at the end of the day, good. she goes... You cut whatever you want. I understand if you have to cut that out, you make a good movie. She goes, forget about me. No ego. But on the other hand, she's terrible to work with because, <laughs> because. <laughs> that is so I mean. Really okay. I wanted to rehearse. I'm one of these actors mm. that likes oh, to she rehearse. Doesn't rehearse. Doesn't is that true? I go, honey, it's, it's five weeks in advance. Can we just go? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. no, no. I cannot. I don't want to read I down. cannot. I, I want to save it for the film. Okay. First of all, wait. True. I have to add something to that. Okay. Please do. <laughs> okay. It, Oh, you were rehearsing like for weeks before because he'd written it. Right. So we were constantly rehearsing it. Right. So I said it so many times with him because we would run it and see if it worked. So then he wants to rehearse it again. He wanted to rehearse every single day. And I'm like, you're killing me. I mean, I, there has to be some freshness. So don't make it sound no, like I just right. would never rehearse. He was I always like rehearsing. And by the way, it. she's right. Because you get on the set and it's fresh. You're absolutely right. You, and you're great in the movie. I'm very really suspicious is. of him. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard that this is that you were so great in this film. People really loved you in this film. Really? Like this, yeah, I've been like reading it. some oh, reviews nice. and things that they yeah. really thought you were great in this film. Yes. Was this like the perfect role for you? Do you, you think? know, it's it's a it's a based on myself a little bit, you know, and it's fictitious along the way too. We invent a lot of different things. By the way, I have a co-writer Steve Alper that I worked with for many years. But um, it's it's kind of situations that happened to me in this poker game and in life. And kind of the bets that we made. You know, we made crazy other bets besides that, prop bets. Well, that's kind of how this came about. Yeah, right. We were, did, did you want me to? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, tell that story. <laughs> okay. Tell the story. So we were rollerblading in Venice Beach, which we've been known to do. And we were doing it on our anniversary, which we've done a few times. We do a few shots along in the day. So yeah. shots on the road and rollerblading. Yes, this yes, is what yes. you do. And, and this so is, we're sitting okay. at a bar in our rollerblades <laughs> okay. in Venice on like right. a Friday afternoon or something at four in the afternoon. Right. And we're talking about a movie that had just come out based on a true story. And he was talking about, about Hollywood, but it was yeah. very glamorous about Hollywood, which should, should have been so interesting. And it could have been, but it missed the mark. We won't mention the name of it, right. but it missed he the mark. He was saying it wasn't right. that great of a movie. Okay. Now, it's such a great story. And I go, you know, you really should. He didn't want to make another movie. He'd made a couple and he was kind of over it. Totally. But I said, you really, you should make a movie about your poker game. And, and I mean, I'm hearing these stories. Every morning when he, he would come home, you know, sometimes I'd be up all night wondering where the heck he was with his craziness playing and how long is it going and what, how much money has he lost, whatever. And, um, and you were concerned? I'd hear these, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Um, I heard these incredible stories about these prop bets, these side bets. But I said, you should write your story. And 
you know, here it is. So, because we had three tequilas. She, she said, so three tequilas you got to write that story. I said, I don't feel it. She goes, you got to write that story. I went, oh, okay. So I shrugged and yes, she convinced me to write this story. So and she was says, right. It was a great, great story. Now he says, I'm either the hero or the bum. Either yeah. So every time it's going bad, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> but it is difficult to put out an indie film, right? right. This, oh, is, yeah. this is so difficult. And I find so many people in Hollywood, so many friends of mine, people that we all know and love that, tr- that do this. Some of them never get seen. And some, it's such a hard road. And some of them are so good. Like this felt like the ones that are good just to try to get it out there. Is Do you feel pressure? Is it hard? Because you have to like really work it, right? Oh, boy. You know, it is. But uh, we have a great cast. Um, uh, Ross McCall, Don Stark, uh, Paul Walter Hauser, Jennifer Tilly, among others. I mean, just a great. My brother Jimmy Van Patten's in it. Which John O'Hurley's in it. John O'Hurley. John O'Hurley. John O'Hurley. John O'Hurley. John Chad Lowe. Chad Lowe. So we got that out of the way. Yeah. But it's a great <laughs> cast. It is a fun and cast. We got great distribution now. We're going to be in select theaters starting September 20th. And then um, it's going to be everywhere. You can pre buy it now on iTunes. And then it that, comes yeah. VOD, video on demand, everywhere on the 24th. So it will be out there. And the poker world is kind of waiting for this movie. You know, I do the World Poker Tour. I have been doing that for years. I know. And so there's a gambling crew behind it. That they always see these movies about the gambling genre, which I love. But they're very dark, usually. They're very dark and serious. I said, that's not the gambling I know. I know a gambling, since I was a little kid, of absolute enticement and joy and fun and crazy characters. I go, if I ever write, yeah, yeah, I go, if I ever write something, I want to write it about and show the joy of the game, the joy of the characters, the ups and downs, the battle of wits. And that's what Seven Days to Vegas is really all about. So you've been doing the World Poker Tour, you've been a commentator on it. Yeah. For 20? uh, Season 18. Season 18. World Poker Tour. And then you play poker. I have been playing my whole life. Okay. I have the, can you? She plays now too. Well, let me, she's good. She's okay. He taught me like 20 years ago. Okay. I can't, don't know how to play. She's and I'm sick. telling you, if I played, I have the, Eileen knows this. Yeah. I, be, I have the worst poker face. You know exactly what was happening. I'd blow the game because everything comes out of my face. I just yeah. never can hide anything. So what, how would you. Welcome to what, our game. What, what would you yeah. recommend for me to do to mm-hmm. keep my face intact? Oh, honestly? Yeah. Uh, give it up because uh, you cannot <laughs> change. <laughs> Don't play for big stakes, Michael. Just, so I just can't even, everything's on. Have fun. That's the great thing about poker. You can play for social, you know, it gives you something to do. People make friends at the table. So, no, honestly, you want to keep more of a straight face so that you don't get too excited. So when you're like, uh, oh, you just Yeah, yeah you just got to keep it real cool. Your face not that excited, just mm-hmm. sort of neutral. So if you could do that, you'd so be a better poker player. So pretend you've got pocket aces right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so don't let your, I don't, your cards, eyes are already getting really big. <laughs> <laughs> the the giveaway is when you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry That's to be not like. That's good. <laughs> well, listen to this though. She's good at poker, but not only that. Little did I know. I like to bet on everything. <laughs> we first get together and all of a sudden she goes, you're watching football? I said, yes. She goes, did you bet on it? I said, yeah. She goes, I want in. I said, what? She goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I love the action. All of a sudden, I found out she's a degenerate gambler herself. Okay, now wait. What? Is that the action? I was it's all true. true. It didn't concern you meeting him that he was into poker? Uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, I do remember when we, we'd we been together for a couple a year, you moved in with me. And then all of a sudden, he's like, okay, I'm leaving now for a poker game. I was like, what? What do you mean? It's like Thursday, you're going you're gonna to go? It was just like such a normal part of his life. So it did take some getting used to. But, you know, a kind of but cool... But explain that we do bet all the action. Oh, yeah, we bet. We NFL bet together. together. So sports bets were 50-50. And, I mean, I've gotten burned. I've made some decisions that were you're not You're a good smart. loser. Yeah, I have I'm to say. Loser. So have you... Good have, winner and you guys better made loser. a lot of money we, in no, a bet or lost no. a lot of money in a bet? We pay the bookie off every year at the end of the season. <laughs> but she's great about that. I say, honey, we lost such and such a match. She goes, okay, here you go. Whips out the cash. I go pay the bookie and that's that. But, but we have fun. It's just entertainment. But also, my father big. won my mother's um, engagement ring in a poker game in World War II. So that's oh, kind see, of a cool little... Oh, comes around. It must be in my blood. comes around. Get your million ready. Oh, no. Are you oh. crazy? We just got our life back, and now you want to risk everything? Babe, Sander would have wanted this. Oh, I've got boy. the edge. We'll win. Who's crushing it? Not you. You're on your own. This is without me. That was awkward. Mm. So when you were playing Casey, what... What about her? What did you like about her? Well, her, yeah. he kind of like obviously fashioned after our relationship as well. And the fact that they're they're in it together. 
Right. You know, they, so they, they, they could, they, this together. is a lifestyle they both enjoy. And she helps yeah. him get these people into the game. Is that kind of what? Sort happened? of. Well, that's what somebody does when you when you have a home game. You call, making sure who's going to be there, and because you got to make sure your table. There's a host of the game. Are there that's lots of home role. games here. There's there wasn't. There wasn't back in the day. Now there wasn't. Right. We used to play them in different places in LA. But uh, and she came to a few of them. She's actually that's fabrication. She was not the host of that particular game. We had someone else. But uh, that's the role she played in this in the film. Yes. She plays the host of the oh, game. You and asked she me helps. If in real life, I was do- doing that. Yes. No, I was working as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh but, yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, I wasn't a host for the poker. <laughs> Everybody is talking about. We're talking about you far and wide, not just the East Coast. We're talking about you Europe. Duke's already gone 100 miles in two days. The guy's a machine. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> well, you know what? You can finish a bet like this. You know why? Why? Because you're having fun. Chucky, get your millions ready. No one beats me, huh? No one. How was filming the scenes when you're walking oh, yeah. supposedly to Vegas? Yeah, that's the whole concept. Can he walk from LA to Las Vegas in seven days? Uh, we shot it in Santa Clarita, in the hills, the mountains, and the, all that. And then we went out five days after a and, and, uh, second unit shoot and shot with drones in the desert. So you get all that great he stuff. He had a big wind machine on him at night. Oh, yeah. Pouring sand in his face. Well, it was hot. Oh, it was in the middle of summer. We shot, so it was very, very hot. But you know what? Oh, by the way, one of the stipulations in the film is he's got to walk, but he has to do it in a suit. So it was extra oh, hot. see. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's him in a suit. I actually like the poster, too. It's kind Isn't of cool. it great? Yeah. So I'm in a suit. Anyway, I must have walked, you know, 10 miles a day shooting, sweating profusely, but you don't feel it because it's, it's a labor your of baby. Love. It's a labor of love. Yeah, so I never felt it. I want to keep shooting, keep shooting. That, All right, Emmy winning actress. Hi, what Shari. do you, Emmy winning actress, what do you think of his performance in this film? He's terrific. Because, you know. Right. No, he's very good. He's great. He has the. Did you give him any tips? Um, I don't know. He would ask me how I like things. You and know, what you, I thought. First of all, she's <laughs> great in it. Forget about she's how I did. Sweet. She's really. Just it's By a comedy, way, have, but we should not, announce our he, guest. He did happen That's to cut Charlotte. me Would out of a lot of. Would you announce our guest? Of, this yeah. is Charlotte. Charlotte is with us now. Hi, Muffin. But oh, she's truly Muffin. great because it's a comedy. She plays it real. She grounds the whole thing, and I try to play mine the same way. The comedy comes out of like dry the humor and the situations, and then there's some other over the top wild people in this film too. Mm-hmm. So that gives it the comedy version, but. Uh, but she's great in it. Right. So during the time that she has been on Days or Wine or do you run lines with her? Have oh, I do. Yes, I okay. do. And, and what parts have you played? <sighs> so boring. I mean, <laughs> he hates literally. it. He hates it. Do you hate I mean, it? Yeah. God, no, listen. I love she has some it. great. She's she needs, played some great roles. It's very tough. Oh, she has so many lines. She has pages on pages. Sure and she goes, honey, can you please help me with a line? I said, yeah, of course. So we do it. It takes about 45 minutes of just battling, you know, doing the lines. When I've had all the but different... She remembers things. I can't believe your memory, how you can do it. She took 20 pages a day. She just... At least it. 20 pages, you kidding I, me? I don't understand how she... So she's such a great professional, and that's something we do together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So... Everybody why? runs from me, though. Like, Jesse, yeah. I go, Jesse, could we run? Like, no! He, like, <laughs> hates it. So, I hate it. Do you, get, do, you, do you get what you need out of it? Does he, you sit him down and demand times, that he does yes, the line? Yes. yes. Like, I when can't. I really need it. He's right. there. No, but here's the thing. Though. You're all, you always help me when I really need it. And then I it. help, and then all of a sudden I try to be like Eric Braden. You know, he's in the scene. So I do a little bit of this. She goes, stop it, cut it, come on. Just play it like you. I know. So you I do my Oh, so you do the impersonation of the character. Can I, I oh, so you try to yes. embody that yes. instead of just reading. And what she needs is, that is, you just want, I know what I like. She just wants you to read the line back. But they so all do. Jesse also, he's suddenly going to act Jesse's her son. Yeah, Jesse wants to know he's going to play this part. I'm like, no, just say the line. I can't do it when you're all acting at me. Oh, so you been family. so when we last did our video interview, you had left YNR. Now you've been back for a few appearances and pops along the way. Did mm-hmm. you think you would come back? I think I told you that time yeah. that I, you know, I didn't hate anybody. I'm happy to come back and visit. But I had also told them when I when I I quit that if they had a storyline for Ashley, that they'd have to recast because I'm not going back for a long. Stint. It's just, you know, I never say never because I've learned in life not to do that. But they were they didn't want to do that, and they were kind enough to just say, "Hey, can you come back once in a while?" And, and so far, it's working. It's yeah. been nice to visit and say hi to everybody. Right. And then on days, you know, they've had Stacy as right. played Susan and Kristen. And how do you feel about that? Because that was such a signature role for you, and now she's kind of 
they've written a lot of story for her, mm -hmm. for the character. How do you feel about like that I'm happening? I'm thrilled for her. I wasn't um, able to do the part. Um, I had left YNR and, and I wasn't ready to jump right back into a frying pan. Um, so I'm thrilled for her. I think it's it's a great role. I'm sure she's doing really great. I, honestly, I don't watch. It's not because I'm being mean about it. It's because I am so close to that character and sometimes it makes me sad. Yeah. Because I really loved that character so much. But I'm it, it's totally fine. I have no bad feelings and I'm thrilled for Stacy. Yeah. I wish her only success. Can I add something about you? He's like she, really nice she's to me. She had again. to. I'm what is nice. happening? So this is all true stuff. But what she, is happening? She had to stop. Well, oh, yes, but I mean, he's like, you're gushing. <laughs> she had to stop because they should know and because you're a really great person. And she had to stop because the drive was very, very long and the traffic gets worse and worse. But she would come home some days and go, I just want to tell you, Vinny, I work with the most incredible people I've ever known. She goes, they are so sweet and so talented and, and I just want to, I go, oh yeah, yeah. I'm always hearing that from her. So she really loves who she works with. Of course, how could she, you not? Well, you could. Hard you could come back people. and say, you know, they're, I, don't, I can't stand this. Never, never. She loves those people, which now, is nice to hear. You know, a lot of couples in Hollywood, when they're both in the business, things don't work out. I've seen a lot of people not work out. You guys have made your marriage work. Um, why do you think it's worked out? When why you're is both, it? You know, because, <laughs> I mean, we is it because you both... We gamble together. We gamble together. We watch and NFL go. together. Okay. We gambled yeah. on each other. Oh, uh, no, it's been good. It was just lucky so far. You know, it's yeah. all worked out it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We never really had a reception because we got married in Vegas when I was like nine months pregnant. And we always say, we're gonna have, we're back gonna, to Vegas. Yeah, back to Vegas. We're gonna like at the five year mark, we're gonna have a big wedding reception. We're gonna renew our vows. Five years came and went, and then we're both like, you know, it's all working out. We're, a little, we're both a little um, superstitious. Superstitious. So we're like, mm, let's not jinx it. So then 10 comes around. We're like, when we're 15, when 15 years, we'll do it. Now we're all moving on to 17. We still haven't done it. And, and I've never really, had a reception. We never had a reception, and we never really had many people at our wedding. But we keep saying we're going to do it, but now we're, we keep going, and we're both kind of superstitious. It's so weird. I get, but I get that, right? You don't want to jinx it. You don't want to jinx it. Isn't that so crazy? So weird. What did you think about her Real Housewives days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fine, you know, and she was great on the show. I think she's stressed out too much. There's she's a lot, very stressed she's out. She's not the, the kind of, that type that just adjusts easily and that type of thing, but she did a great job. You know, it went quick. I think he did three years on it. I was in the background carrying a purse. Went, oh, yes, yes. Here I come, honey. <laughs> I'm coming I'm right there. Were you in any of the episodes? Yes, oh, in the time. background with the purse, the carrying time. the things, yeah, groceries and a purse. But nevertheless, See, <laughs> it was all good. Okay, but here's, now we're off and we had a good time. Okay, but here was my issue with it. Like, I felt like they had, you know how they trump up some of these reality shows, right? So I felt like they had to trump up some stuff with Eileen that just, like, didn't they throw the drink in your face or something? Well, well and that they was didn't. Like, Brandy did. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I wonder, were they told, like, it just felt like they were trying to get a reaction out of you to do uh, something? You know, listen, reality TV is... A whole beast in itself. It's itself. crazy. It's a crazy, you know, wild, wild west. And I'm sure Brandy felt that she she was playing a character who is a real person. But I'm sure we all kind of have our own roles to play. And I think she felt she needed to be relevant to stay on the show. Her role is kind of to be the troublemaker. Mm -hmm. I understand more of it now. At the time, I was like, I was a deer in the headlights you know, for the first couple of years. Mm -hmm. yeah, you didn't have to spice it up. You didn't push. Really. Well, no. No, I mean, so I honestly, they well, say, I thought it was know, pretty boring, but you know. Is this stuff scripted? <laughs> and it's actually not. Most of it is not. really not. And uh, you can spice it up. You could be it crazy be, if you want. It wouldn't be So they don't do come that. to you and say, no. So and so, you know, try to like amp up the thing with so and so. No, what they will say. Be, Drink up, they say. Be, Drink up. Before the season starts, you'll talk about what's going on in your life. And maybe there is some of that behind the scenes stuff. It didn't happen with me. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. I think there's different people that have, a, you know, different ways of instigating. It is a reality show, but it is, it is also entertainment. If all we did was sit around and how fun would that be? No. Did our laundry and went right. grocery shopping. Which it's okay <laughs> when you're doing it with me. But. He's got a screening and, and, and I did invite some of the housewives oh. and some of the... Um, production team to come to one, because we did our yeah. first table read for this movie on the on Housewives. Housewives. That's right. Isn't that crazy? So yeah. I was like, I've got to, I, I've got to invite, you know, some of the girls and, and some of the production people. How long was the process to write this for you? We oh, probably took two years, yeah. uh, 12 different At drafts. Least. Yeah. At least. Then we did with the Housewives, we did a, a read through around the, around the thing. And, uh, that wasn't that wasn't that good, but um, was, anyway, they're coming I to the, found the red the red carpet uh, on the on the twenty first in L A, which is great, you know, and they're all good to do that, and nice to do that, uh, but it takes a long time, and then um, 
just doing posts and everything. It's finally out, so it's exciting. That's finally going to be over. And we're going to have nothing to talk about once it comes out. Oh. This has been ruling our world for so many years. Yeah. So this has been like a, this is a whole. He like, made this movie with a needle and thread. I mean, he really oversaw the editing, the music, everything. Everything. It's been, you know, he's with his show, The World Poker Tour, he was able to have the freedom to really devote his time to it, to make it the vision that he always, you know, wanted it to be. What do you think your dad would think? He, he would be thrilled. He would love it. He, he, he told him. My father, Dick Van Patten, was a great actor, but a wonderful gambler, loved all forms of gambling. So he loved gambling, Taught too. me everything of how to read the race form, how to play poker, how to enjoy life, how to enjoy the spice of life and prop bets and all. Dickie was, so had would, a lot more of an edge to him than people know. Oh, yeah. So he would he would love this. He, he loved the picture. The, the fact that the guy makes a huge bet that he could walk from L.A. to Vegas, average 40, 40 miles a day, is pretty incredible. So... I think he's smiling up there. It's also awesome because his brother Jimmy plays his brother. His Jimmy brother, plays the brother. In his the brother show. Nels is in the movie. He has oh, a little cameo. Oh. My niece Kat is actually a dealer, so she's dealing in a lot of... In real life. Yes. So she's dealing in a lot of the shots. So would you say future for you, you don't... Would you go back to daytime? I'm not... I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to work on YNR in a couple more weeks, so I, I, I'm popping in and out at this point. Right. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, if it's not good, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. What would you love to see happen with Ashley still? Oh, wow. Because she's really never, her and Jack have really never, mm -hmm. I don't know where that relationship well, is. It, well, it's because I'm not there all the time, so I'm not sure what can happen, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? You need to be there for the story, so. Right. So that's where you kind of, would, yeah, to play it out, you've got to be there. And you right. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's next for you? Do you know? I finished this that's, up. That's Charlotte making those noises. That's, that's Charlotte not him. the dog. I'm not. <laughs> We're going to finish up the movie. A couple of people have actually talked about making a series out of it. So that would be interesting. And if that doesn't work out. <laughs> Sorry, Charlotte. I just want to live like Andy Griffith lived. You, know? you do. And Andy and Mayberry. I don't. You know, I just want to <laughs> she be. Will not I don't want to be sheriff. But I just want to be. I don't want to be sheriff. You do want to be sheriff. I want to be sheriff of Mayberry. But I would like <laughs> to have that type of talk, relaxed sort of. Hey, I got time on my hands. I'm going to go down there to a friend's house and maybe eat some pie. You know? Can we do poker for yeah. dummies one night so I can come like sure. figure out how to do this? Yeah. I don't even know how to put a wager. I don't know what I'm doing. It's oh, really okay. bad. Let's do that. It's do really that. bad. I really. Uh, you'll get I, a I have feel. to say, I have to tell feel. you something that's that's kind of funny. I think it is. I have a joke going with <laughs> Beth Maitland and Peter Bergman. Okay. That um, when I show up at work, I have like these scars on my feet. It's not a lie. It's true. Okay. Um, they're flip flop scars. I'm wearing my flip-flops so much. I'm not in high heels anymore. I'm in my sweats, my shorts, and I'm in flip-flops that I actually have, like, scars from the flip-flops. We joke around. I go, look, I've got scars <laughs> from my flip-flops. They're like, shut up. I'm like, I'm just, like, goofing off all the time now, having fun. I mean, there must be some freedom to that, though. I mean, oh like, my God, I mean, God, like you amazing. know the rigors of having to do Are you kidding? What, you got, what you have done for I so get, many years. I, for the first few months, yeah. I was waking up in the morning, oh, my God, I don't have to <laughs> be anywhere. <laughs> I don't have to color my hair. I can loop, I can gain five pounds. You know, I was just like, woo! Oh. So, I mean, yeah, it was really fun not having to, to be on a, on a rigid thing. So both of you- I really do, I really yeah. do well um, with time off. I'm not like a freak, I have to do something. Oh, blah, blah, and then you feel re-energized, re perhaps. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to steal my game. I'm talking to them. <laughs> do you remember? I'm sick of the green black belt on a martial arts scale. Do not make me karate the fuck at ya. Okay. But for the record, it's fifth degree black belt. It only goes up to fifth degree. Not in Europe. It's a different fucking scale. A different scale. Yeah. Really? It's the metric system. Explain. What do you mean, explain? Did you go to school? Yes, I did. Right. Well, the metric system. What are you talking about? The European metric system. I know the metric system! So you both have done comedy and drama. What's what do you prefer? But definitely comedy is more fun, you know, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. When you start getting into an intense film or something that you're doing, it just it brings down your whole. You have to get all emotional. I don't prefer that as much. So I like to do something. What we did in Seven Days to Vegas was um, a nice dry Always comedy. About the movie. No, oh, I'm to, yeah, yeah, there, oh, there yeah. you go. So there you go. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. What about you? Well, because wait, you did. You've done Ashley. You've done Susan. You've done. You've done all these roles. What do you mm -hmm. think is harder? The comedy, oh, wow. like well, doing a Susan. That's a good question. You've never done a broad comedy besides Days. Think, no, oh, yeah, wait, besides, besides, days. besides yeah. Days. Which was extremely broad. Wait, Susan is so that, big. And, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. a comedy. And, and you love doing that, uh -huh. you always said. Yeah. I really got lost oh. in that 
that humor, like that, that character. Uh, I like. Well, I've been really lucky. I've gotten to kind of do both. Probably one of the best times of my life, even though I was going out of my mind, was um, going to YNR and doing Ashley Sweet. drama, and then being able to jump over to Days. So that was kind of fun for me. Was that fun for you while she was doing that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was home alone. <laughs> oh my god! I was going to say, were you doing? Were you learning lines left and right of all these characters? No, we were. So, yes, so yes. Well, I think that everyone should go see Seven Days to Vegas. This is so fun. I think you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy the movie. Ditto. 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 Okay, you heard it from Eileen. Thank Ditto. you, Vincent. Thank you, Eileen, Thank you, so much. Thank you, Michael.